Hey, it's Kathy. So I am super excited to let you guys know that I am finally done with my nursing lab values flashcard deck. So this is the deck I wish I had when I was in nursing school because I spent a lot of time as a nursing student thumbing through my various textbooks to look up the expected ranges of lab values. And a lot of those books don't even have an index. So it was pretty time consuming. And I really just wanted those lab ranges in one place so that I can work on memorizing them. Because knowing your lab ranges is really important as a nursing student and also as a nurse. So that's what I've done here. I've taken what I believe to be the most important lab ranges and I've put them in one place with um, the normal ranges for each lab value. I included a range that I felt like was most accurate for each lab value. So I did extensive research, um, placing emphasis on .gov websites, um, and peer reviewed journal articles, as well as textbooks to provide you what I feel like are the most accurate ranges. So that being said, if your particular book or professor has a slightly different range, it should not be that big of a deal because on a nursing school exam, when you're given a lab value that is out of range, it will likely be very out of range. So that little variation should not be significant. However, we purposely make the back of our cards matte so that if you want to make a note of a slightly different range um, that your classroom uses, you can do that on the back of the card. The rest of the information will be 100% applicable um, for that lab. So for each card, in addition to the expected range, I also include a brief definition of what the lab is, why it's significant, and then for about a third of the cards, I provide a silly tip or hint for remembering the range. So I don't have a hint for every single card. I have them for about 20 of the cards. If you have a special tip or trick for remembering a range that I, for you know, for a lab value where I don't have a hint, then definitely send it my way because eventually we'll be making edition 2.0 for these cards and in the future, I'd like to include even more hints to help students remember these um, various ranges. So um, as an example here, again, I have the troponin card here. I give a definition of what troponin is. I give a hint for how to remember the range, and then I provide the significance of elevated levels in this case, which include um, cardiac muscle damage due to ischemia. And then you'll also notice on this card, I have uh, a couple words highlighted in bright orange. That means that that information is super important to know and you definitely need to prioritize remembering that information. So just to give you another example of a card, I have um, Billy Rubin here. So that's card 40. And if you turn the card over, I give an explanation of what Billy Rubin is. And then I provide my silly little hint. So in this case, it says Billy will only pay up to $1 for his Rubin sandwich. And that's to help you remember that Billy Rubin levels should not go over one. And then here I have the um, sig significance of elevated levels. So if bilirubin levels go over one, that could be indicative of liver dysfunction or bile duct obstruction, as well as some other causes that I've listed here. So I hope this gives you a feel for what you can expect um, from these cards. And I hope you find them helpful. I know I wish I had them, <laughs> like I said, when I was in nursing school, because it just feels like these values are just scattered all over the place and it would be so nice to have them in one place and to understand the significance of each of the ranges. So um, definitely give me comments, give me feedback if you decide to buy the deck. And if you appreciate our videos here on YouTube, be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel and um, give us your advice or suggestions below. Thanks so much for watching.